Trade lands update. Doesn't seem very believable, considering that the previous big update was four months ago. It's been a while. Four new ships. Technically free. Because one's just a copy of the other. I'm not quite sure what Nar was thinking with this update. Because it's aimed at players who have much Robux to spend that are high level. Nar added ships that you have to pay to get. And they're good ships. So once again, Trade Lands is paid to win. First at level 7, we have this. The Typen. It's a junk rigged boat, which I'm so glad that not added the junk rigged boat. I've got one of these myself, so I'm about to go spawn it in. As you can see, it has speed 9. It's junk rigged, so it's got the best sails for catching the wind in the game. It's got only four size 4 cannons and a very, very modest health strength. But it's very agile and very fast. Let's go spawn one. This is very similar to the Kraken in that it's or the Serpent in that it's got this cover over the driver or the helmsman. Four weak cannons, size size four, which is a um, eighteen pounder long guns. Don't get carronades. No bow cannons, of course there's no space for them so that's understandable. But what this thing excels in is its speed. This is the second boat in trade that's have speed 9. Look at it go. And these sails are a new design, they're curved. You can see, they look really nice. So you can even go speed 9 broadside when the wind's on your broadside. Because they're better sails for catching the wind. I built, I, be I built mine out of angel wood because yeah, it looks nice. And it's, this is a rudder. It's, it looks like a like the sails. It just look like the sails in this boat. But one bad thing is that even if the wind's blowing that way, the curve's still going towards the wind. The sails curve towards the wind. It's really, it doesn't make sense. But I guess that's just how Roblox works. You might be thinking, great, I'll get that ship. Well, I only hold six cargo, so if you're planning on doing trade runs, I don't quite... I don't quite recommend it. Well, I could use it for personal transport, yeah! Yeah, if you're willing to give away basically the whole of your warehouse. Don't get this ship. Get this instead. Get... The Marauder instead. It's got Latin sails, so they're similar to junk sails. Junk rigged. They'll work similarly. They'll be better with the wind than normal sails. It's speed eight, so it's not much. It's not like there's much difference between the speeds. It's got better armament and bow chaser cannons. This thing was built for not only personal transport, but also raiding. Don't get the Typen. Just don't. I really don't recommend it. And the reason why it's only 35k, but what's this? A Typen voucher? Oh, that must be easy to get. Well, you're wrong. Nar added scrap to the game. Basically, this stuff. This is scrap 98. I've got 98 on me. It, it doesn't weigh anything. Basically, when you go into your warehouse, and you press this, you can see how how much some of these, some of your items are worth. Like if you shift and double click on it, it'll give you four scrap. Okay, basically I'll just scrap this, shift double click, and you get two scrap. And now I've got 100 scrap. Don't do this. It's also the way you get the Kraken voucher. G gather enough scrap for the Kraken voucher, you need 500 scrap. For the Typen. You need 5,000 scrap. 5,000. I had to get three of my friends helping me with that one. Don't do this. It's not worth it. Get a Marauder instead. It's not worth Just don't do it. Like I said, Nar added four new ships. So, 
the second one is the hook. Oh, you may think it's a small ship, and it is a small ship. It's very short, and you'd think, well, it's oh, it's like the fox because it's got a false cabin. Yes and no. Yes, it's like a fox because it's got a cabin, and it looks like a fox's cabin. But you're wrong because it's a real cabin. Let's put it into a brighter wood. So there is the storage, and that's where the I'm going to build one of these as well. This is where the cargo goes, I think. And there's also a captain's cabin. So there's two rooms. One room here, room, which is a very, very nice addition. This is a cross between a, uh, a tyrant, very similar, and a, a stiletto, in my opinion. Both very similar. And... They made a hook together. Don't ask me how. The armament is also really good on this. It only has six cargo, which is understandable, but the whole strength 12,000, so that's more than the stiletto. So it has four size 7 cannons that go here, 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 here. So those are 36 pounder long guns. But where this thing excels is its bow cannons, size 8 cannons. These are 42 pounder long guns up here. So you can get behind the goose, but get behind the ship and pound it with these two cannons. This, these two cannons will div deliver more f damage than these two cannons. So this thing's built for head on stern locking other ships. This thing is a beast. It only has seven speed, so it's most suited for taking down atlases and goose and geese. It does not have, it's just got the normal sails, so no special Latin sails here. Finally, the Alliance, this is the new ship, let's turn that to oak, because this thing looks, one of the few ships that looks brilliant in oak. This is just a bigger version of the hook, you can see the back cabin, look how, look at here, look here, and now I'll go to the Alliance, but boom, same thing, same design, same thing here. It's got some nice railing, it looks really nice. There's there's two ways to get down to bottom deck here and back here. If I can show you. There we go, that might be easy to see. And it's got a map and a table and a chair, it appears to be. But it's also way down to bottom deck. Yeah, yeah, there's a stairs there and there's also a table and a chair. So it's very cramped. But nice. You can see the top deck here. That this this is also designed just like the hook around the back here, and the hook and the alliance. And what's special? It's only speed six. Holds zero cargo. Only has eighteen thousand health, which is less than the Astra. It has sixteen six size six long guns, size six cannons on the broadside. So eight on each side. This is absurd. So six pounder here, two, uh, no, thirty-two pounders lined up. This thing delivers serious fire damage. Fire damage, fire power. And then up here we've got two four, size four cannons, so eighteen pounders. I've not seen this thing, but I guess it doesn't have very good turn speed because of how big it is. This thing can be stern locked because this has no uh, rear cannons. This would be a great cannon deck for the rear guns, but it doesn't have any, so a bit of a shame considering its price. There's, yeah, there's also a spruce version. There's also a spruce version which is virtually the same, although it's got a spruce deck. So that'll look, with, look better with lighter woods, and then the pine deck would look better with something like cherry or oak. And you might be thinking, yeah, I can get this. What's that? Well, you need five of those for each of the ships. Spruce and pine. Spruce for the spruce one and pine for the pine one. And you can craft these actually. Look how much these are. 200 premium tokens. And 40 pine. 40 pine. This is... And you're going to be buying five of these. So a thousand premium tokens for a thousand robux. And 200 pine. And same thing for the spruce. That's how much you need for the decking of those ships. And for the price of that ship, for the price of the Alliance, 
I'm going to say that it's not worth it. So what else did they add to game? They added a map update. Well, not the sort you're you thinking. If you press M, or this thing, you get a 1600's GPS. This is based on where your character is pointing. Boom. GPS, 1600th century, 16th century. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and build that new ship. So we finally, finally have enough to build this. What should we name this? Oh. Named after Mighty Gamer. Well, this is actually quite a nice ship. This is, I guess this is where the cargo goes. Should I PP bright? Or is that too bright? I'll just keep it dark. And then this is Captain's Cabin, I guess. Sadly, no 1600 GPS system, but uh, it's functional. You can't sit on the. Yeah, you can't actually sit on the chair. You can't use the table, of course. It's nice. And apparently, it's really glitchy, so people keep falling out of here. So that's something to look out for. All in all, it's a really nice ship. Let's see where the cargo goes. I'm guessing in there. Okay, this thing appears to be an okay turn. It's not slow, but it's not fast either. Yep, in here. Just as I suspected. So, all in all, good ship. Very nice ship.